We got the bathtub for the basement today. We had to get it from Menards because unfortunately Lowe's, we went to two different Lowe's and Home Depot did not have any bathtubs in stock with this rounded edge over there. So anyway, we got it from Menards and it only looks blue because it has the little wrapper on it. We have to pull it off. It'll be white. Let's put it in. Got it cut down. Now we're gonna put it in the bathtub. And it's in. And then we will obviously tile above that. The water's gonna come out of this end. It's a right handed drain. I like the bathtubs that have this little thing because they don't take up any more floor space than your regular bathtub, but because it kind of curves out like that, Makes the bathtub feel a lot bigger when you're in it, especially if you're putting multiple kids in it. And they're pretty cheap. This was what, 300? 300. Yeah, not bad. This is our toilet right here. This is the venting off of the toilet. There's a vent stack right here also. Uh, other things are vented into it, but then we'll okay. tie it into the main uh, sewer line. Okay, so that's done. And Nothing you can flows see through here other than air. Okay, and you can see that's recessed up into those eye joists, so we'll be able to put yes. our custom-made ceiling in there. And here's some other plumbing he did over here that I didn't record. Oh, yeah, this right here, that's for the sink and okay, for so the sink this in. over here. Yep, because we'll have a bar sink over here, and then obviously a sink in the bathroom, of course. And then I'll put this plumbing in right here. Oh, water lines. Effect line. These are just the two main water lines that's going to come down. Provide water for the sink in here, sink at the bar, toilet water, and for our shower. And they ran out of blue, so I just grabbed white. Yeah, so plumbing there. There. And then, any other plumbing you've done? Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Well, as you can tell, we had to pull the bathtub out so we can plumb now. We just put it in there at first because we obviously wanted to make sure that it fit. So it's been a disaster getting this plumbing done because we can't ever get the stuff in stock. And then when we buy them, we have missing pieces. So James went out this morning in the snowstorm, an ice storm, and bought, what'd you buy? I just bought an extension right here. Okay. So he's going to work on getting this plumbed up. This right here is the kit that we got from Lowe's and it was too short for the bathtub here in the basement. We will show you what the issue was and what we had to quickly purchase to fix the problem. Okay, so explain to us why there's been such an issue with plumbing this together versus all the other bathtubs you've plumbed. Well, really wasn't that big of an issue and you can get these, you can custom make these things. You can get the, the schedule 40 rough in. But this is what came in the kit this right here that's all that came in the kit okay this will fit 90 percent of tubs but we had to buy a different tub because we couldn't find our tubs that we normally like in stock so as you can see here it does not doesn't even come close to fitting it doesn't oh, come close. too short so okay you buy an extension like this and okay you can put all this stuff together and so did you have to cut any of those pieces that you're putting together right now or i did extent? have to cut this you know but there's okay. There's this much room to slide back and forth okay. within here. But you did cut some off. Yeah. Okay. Most plumbers would probably already know this stuff. We're not plumbers. So when we buy a kit, you know, we expect it to fit. If it doesn't, well, that's when we start having to ask a bunch of questions. But anyways, um, so. You're going to put it together? We're going to put it together real quick. So this, this piece goes onto here, this rubber piece. The bevel end down, you want the flat end up against this piece here. So you just do that. And you screw this down. You can leave it somewhat loose. That way you can kind of move it where you need it. And then this piece right here, I'm just going to go ahead and stick in. This piece is already 
on there. I'm just gonna see if I can shove it in. If I can't, I'll take it off. Yeah, I'll take it off. So the same way, just thread these pieces on, get your rubber piece up in there. Just like that. Okay. okay. Stick that right here. I'm gonna go ahead and push that all the way down. Into this piece. Now you've got an extension. And then you can move this how you want it. Oh, so, I see. Much better. Easier to work with because everything moves. Then they tighten down. Everything's watertight. Don't have to put any kind of glue on anything. But when you tie into your inch and a half schedule 40 PVC, you want a piece like this. Same thing. I'm going to put this piece here. Put this piece here. This one's a little bit thicker plastic piece, and it actually comes in a little comes with this guy here. Put that there. Screw this thing down. Now you can glue this right into your inch and a half um, schedule 40. Which is what's coming out of the ground over there? And that's actually two inch, so I then have to uh, adjust mine, but most people probably have just inch and a half. Okay, so this is what he's talking about. Tattoo it into that. Okay, that all makes sense. Let's put her together. We need to take pea grip out of this. Okay. We can take it down pretty good because I'm going to do some, I'm going to be doing some plumbing work right in there. Okay. As you can see, we dug out a bunch of that gravel. So now we're going to plumb this together. If you need to see how to plumb it, we will show you how real quick. So it's done. Perfect. Now we've got the tub in place and that's how it's going to hook up right in there. That's the pipe we cut. So now we're just plumbing it together. Got it all in there. That should work. Now we just got to uh, level the tub before we stick it in there. Okay. Okay. Now we're looking for leaks. Babe, I don't see any leaks at all. Not a drop of water coming out anywhere. Good. Good. There were no leaks. Look at my little plumber. Good job, babe. Yep. Now we are quickly leveling the bathtub. We screwed it right into the wall here because the back part going this way is completely level. Going this way is also completely level. Only thing that's not is over here. This is almost level, but not perfect. So James being the perfectionist, we're going to shim up this side just a hair. Each stud needs a screw, but I'm going to leave that there for just a minute. Okay, good enough for now. And then I want to see if there's any uneven parts. Test it out, babe. If that can hold 180 pounds, we're good to go. Just kidding, he doesn't weigh 180. He's a skeleton. Flexing, so we're gonna have to shim up those little pieces in the bottom, so. Okay. But it's close enough for now when I get the plumbing hooked. So this is gonna be tough, because I wanna silicone it. Okay, you can see where we just kinda shimmed that to the side so we can plumb up that bottom hole of the bathtub. <laughs> okay, putting some silicone on this ring. I don't think this is necessary. Well, I'd rather overkill it than it leak. Now we got this piece here from Menards. We've got silicone on another ring. Got the 
plumber's putty in this. Got that black piece in there. Now we're just tightening it down. Perfect. And I'll just start putting this in. There. See back here where that pulled that nice and tight and plumb in there. And it's done. Everything is tightened, fastened nicely. It's all in place. It looks great. So as you can see, if you buy a kit and it's too short, you can just buy that extender piece and that'll make it fit. Okay, the tub is officially plumbed in. We're just gonna do a final test. Once everything sets up, let the silicone set up. We'll put some water in there, test it. We're going to go ahead and start getting the plumbing ready for this tub right here. Already got these uh, water lines coming down through. I got shut off valves up there um, just so we could work on it. They're just hanging down here, but I need water for the toilet, hot and cold for the sink. I need hot and cold over here. This is what we've been working on today. So I've been kind of roughing in some lumber to um, go ahead and put the valve on. And this valve it came with these um, PEX female ends, so I could screw those right on there. Got some Teflon tape on there. Um, this will mount right here. And this black face right here, that needs to be flush with the finished surface. So I got it sticking out about 7 eighths of an inch is what I'm guessing, because I'm going to use half inch concrete board. So I'm going to go ahead and get some holes drilled for some plumbing. And start running some uh, water. Okay, I got the plumbing done. This is the water for the sink that's gonna be on the bar. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and attached in. You can see the hot and cold going over to the main valve for the tub. And I also got um, this for the sink inside the bathroom. And I got this for the toilet. Everything's done. As far as the plumbing, I need to pick up a few more pieces of pipe here, which I may have in the barn. So we're looking pretty good. Got all that done. The boys and I are outside today playing. They're back behind me here in the holler down on the side of our property and they are having a blast. It's a little warm today, so we're taking advantage. We love where we live and it's nice to take a break sometimes from working on the house. 